The next question wins the prize hands down for its difficulty level and also for the innovative use of uh, proportionality. It is an actual cat question. The example reads as a cat is inside a railway tunnel at a distance of 3 8 of the tunnel's length measured from its entrance. A far off train approaching the entrance blows its whistle. If the cat runs towards the entrance, the train catches the cat exactly at the entrance. And if the cat runs towards the exit of the tunnel, the train again catches the cat at the exit. What is the ratio of speeds of the train and that of the cat? A decently challenging and uh, difficult question. I would urge you try the equation way. Only then you will appreciate what proportionality can do for you. Right? Uh, I have lost the patience after teaching so many years to sit and write an equation in three variables. Cat speed, train speed, the length of the tunnel, the distance at which the train is approaching. All of them are variables. I leave that work to you. But the answer is as short. So, if I, if you permit me a little drawing pictures and so on. So, this is your entrance and the tunnel. Okay, so here is your tunnel out of here. This is your exit and the cat is at 3 8th the length of the tunnel. So what I am going to do is, if this is the entrance, the cat is out over here, this distance is 3k, the total distance will be 8, so the rest of the distance is 5k. So let me take it this way, so here is your cat, this is your tunnel. A train which is approaching the entrance, so there is a train out over here, which is approaching the tunnel. Now, if the cat runs towards the entrance, the train catches the uh, cat at the entrance. If the cat runs towards the exit, the train again catches it at the exit. Right? So, how do we handle it? Uh, in the time, the train reaches the tunnel. So, we are saying the train from here has reached the tunnel. So, this is my starting point for the solution. So, let us say the train has reached the tunnel. In this time, let me use another marker. So, the train has travelled this way, the cat would have run 3k. Now, if the cat would have travelled the other direction, in the same time, in the time the train reaches the entrance, even in the other direction, the cat would have covered only 3k. What I am saying is in the time the train reaches the entrance, whether the cat runs towards the left or towards the right, it is going to cover the same uh, distance. Why? Because time is same, it is the same cat, so with direction is not going to change its distance, so he covers 3. So the train is at the entrance, the cat is out over here. Now, the cat runs 2k and in that same time, the train runs 8k, the length of the tunnel. So, time being constant, time is constant in that same time. So, if time is constant, speed is directly proportional to distances covered. So, the ratio of cat, the distances, distances or speeds, the ratio of them is going to be 2 is to 8, that is 1 is to 4 is the answer. Right? No need of any equation, no need of any, any variable, nothing is needed. We conclude this case of time being constant by considering a average difficulty level question. The example reads as P and Q start from two distinct points A and B simultaneously and travel towards each other. They meet at C and continue on their respective paths. Uh, P takes 25 minutes to cover the distance C to B. Whereas Q takes 16 seconds to cover the distance C to A. Find the ratio of speeds of P and Q. 
We are doing this average difficulty level question only to re-emphasize the point that if people start together and they meet, then the time for which they have been traveling so far is a constant, right? So if I want to capture this scenario, there are two points A and B uh, and uh, we have P is going to start from A, uh, Q is going to start from B and they are going to move towards each other, they move and they meet at a certain point. So the point is given to me as C. So this is their firm meeting. So I have drawn them separately but this is what they mean. And they continue on their path. They continue on their path further. It is given that P takes 25 second, uh, sorry, minutes for the distance C to B whereas Q takes 16 minutes for the distance C to A. Right? So this is pretty easy, we can, we can pretty well, let's call this distance to be D2 and this distance to be D1. So this we can say the distance I have assumed D2, the time is given, so speeds can easily be, uh, speed of P is going to be distance covered D2 in time taken. It's in 25 minutes, I'll just keep that in mind, if needed I'll change it, right. The speed of Q is or oh, he covers a distance of d1 uh, in a time of 60. Now these are directly given data we have used. What else is given? There are too many variables. I need the ratio of uh, uh, speed uh, of p and q but then d1 and d2 is doubling and that is where we need to realize that they had begun together and at c they have met. Right? So if they begin together and they meet then we do have the ratio of distances covered. D1 is to D2. A or P covers a distance of D1. Uh, Q covers a distance of D2 from start to the meeting point. It is going to be same as the ratio of their speeds. Right? So if I take the ratio of these two, I am taking the ratio speed of P over speed of Q is equal to, I will be getting D2 by D1 into the 25 will remain in the denominator, 16 will go in the numerator, 16 by 25 and I know D1 by D2, I am going to substitute it out over here. So speed of P over speed of Q is D2 by D1, that is speed Q by speed P into 16 by 25. When I cross multiply, I get speed P over speed Q, the squared of it is 16 by 25. So from here, I'll get the ratio of speeds as 4 is to 5, right? Uh, we can even mug this up as a formula, but I don't think so we need to do that. We just need to keep in mind there are two set of data is given. One is the 25 minutes and 16 minutes that they take. And why does the minutes does not matter out over here while they are in minutes? Because I'm taking a ratio of them, right? The moment I take the ratio of them, the minutes and minutes cancel out in that case, right? So what I was I saying is there are two set of data, one related to 25 minutes and 16 minutes and the other set of data, they start simultaneously and they meet at C. So do not forget the distances in the ratio of speeds, right? So uh, these are few examples. Uh, this scenario of starting and meeting are going to come back again in relative speed, right? We are going to learn relative speed and how to solve them, but do keep in mind that proportionality is also an option to solve them uh, out over that. So we'll be solving questions both by both the ways, proportionality as well as relative speed over that in that.